Welcome to Graveyard Keeper. Which is, I've been told, like Stardew Valley, but instead of making a farm, you're making a graveyard. And I've been looking for like a really relaxed crafting game, so I figured, you know, Undead Stardew Valley. New game. We'll just chill, it's been raining for like three days, you know, build a nice graveyard, it'll be good. It is an ordinary day and our hero is hurrying home, where someone very important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and being loved, especially when you know that someone misses you. And then you get hit by a car. What happened? Where is everything? Is that the Undertaker? Calm down. You have merely turned a page in your life. I don't know what the Undertaker sounds like. I'm not gonna give him a voice. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead! I doubt he sounds like that, but he's sounding like that now. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home! Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. I don't think that's what I meant. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But also, yes, you are very dead. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. And eventually... They'll die and end up in your graveyard, and then you'll be reunited. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. <clears throat> oh, that voice is gonna fuck me up. Who? You know, Jerry. He lives like three doors down. Died of a... Uh, well, there, there was a clown and some balloons, and we don't talk about it. Oh. Why was I, like, doing, like, a weird hop? Cook. Myself. Uh, okay. Why do I need to put fuel in? Open. What do I have in here? Nothing. Okay. The hatch is closed for now, but why? It's my hatch, surely. I live here. Hang on. Just gotta, gotta do something real quick. Ooh, this looks nice. I like this. Oh, it looks great. Yes, I know you want me to talk to Jerry, but it looks so nice. Place for wood logs. Place for stones. Okay. Jerry! Uh. Sorry, Jerry, I had to look around. I don't have a shovel. How am I going to get Jerry out? Oh, just with my hands, apparently. Holy sword! I'm a skull! Are you Jerry the skull? <laughs> hmm, why would you think I'm Jerry? Honestly, I don't know. I just walked up to the first grave and just went, well, I for sure fucking hope Jerry's in here. Man with a red eye told me I needed to dig up Jerry. A red eye, I remember. You had a red eye? Oh, sword, that's right. I am Jerry. Oh, God, how did you find me? Man told me you'd answer all my questions. Good, good. But first, let me ask you, who are you and where the sword are we? Is sword like Smurf? Like you can just use it in any context, just shove it into conversation. I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. You didn't think of that way that bouncing talking skull popped out of a grave that you dug up with your hands. Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. Yes? What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. The sound of footsteps? Our footsteps? Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. You know, I think it'll be better if I wait here. You might scare the... F I definitely ring that bell. And a donkey. I definitely remember that bell, sorry. Something's very wrong with the animal. Hmm, he could be dangerous. Do you bring me dead bodies? Hey there, do you talk? 
Got a fresh corpse from the town. A talking donkey. You you can understand me? Yes, you speak English. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This card isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. Ah, the dream. And I only earned five carrots a day. Five carrots. Ah, oh, they're robbing me. This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? Oh, mmm. Mm, mm. Don't mention comrades or unions. I don't want to get in trouble. The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to get back to the town. You do this one, I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Just dump a dead body on the side of the road. That, that, mm. Okay. Grab that juicy corpse while it's fresh. What for? Oh, its freshness is going down. I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why. Pretty sure it'll be fun and might be profitable. Oh, I'm going to puke. Let's do it. The puking or the morgue? Press E to pick up and drop large items. Okay. Not the corpse hatch. My morgue looks like a bunker. Sard, I like this place. Feels like home. Feels like a shithole. Put the bunny on the autopsy table. Then, hmm, what's next? Oh yes. Slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. Am I gonna eat it? This isn't right! Sure, sure, sure. Um, it's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut the sword up and do what I tell you. You promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Is this the same town as like West of Loathing where meat is the currency? Talking skulls never lie. Just imagine you're in the bar one day, just like having a drink after a long day, whatever, tending the crops or whatever it is that peasants did and a crazy guy walks in from the graveyard carrying a hunk of human flesh like give me a beer bitch it like lambs it down on the bar you've unlocked new technology the preparation place the pallet and flesh okay autopsy uh flesh yes apparently i get to extract a lot of stuff Yep, I'ma eat it. Thought so. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. As long as you don't eat the brain, there's no problems. I don't know, let's bury it. Take the corpse, I'll wait for you in the graveyard. You can teleport? Uh, what are these? No clue. Unknown body part. Unknown body part. Unknown body part. Okay, take it. I just wanna take a bit of a- ooh! Incinerator? That'll be fun. Don't know what that is. Okay. Whoa, it's a little foggy, all of a sudden. Okay. Hey there. Let's bury it. Use a blueprint desk at the graveyard, mark site for your grave, then dig up with your shovel. Carefully put the body or what remains of it in the grave. Bury, decorate. Warning, do not use goat skulls, upside down stars for decoration. Got it. I want to build a grave site. I don't know what any of these minuses are, but okay. Can I? Okay, not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to see if I can make it slightly smaller. Whoa. I couldn't dig because the body got in the way. In you go! Inter the corpse. Nicely done. Hmm, this burial certificate. I remember money, alcohol, clowns, a balloon. Here comes the bishop. Here's your boss. Oh, oh God. Ask him about the burial certificate. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. 
dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? I mean, you don't, but... Ooh. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Hi there. I get the feeling like all these, because they're like decayed graves, it's bad and you need to like dig them up and make nice graves so your graveyard looks nice. Is there money in here? Oh, yes. Hi there. Oh dear, the new keeper. We've been expecting him for 30 years, but he pretends there's nothing wrong. Why are you dressed like the Pope? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. I know, I was just commenting on it. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. Don't have to, like, go to, like, like religious school, like, pope school, and important, the graveyard quality, the church appeal, etc. Repair graves to increase the graveyard's overall quality. You'll probably need special resources to do that. Okay. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five, I'll be pleased to promote you. Don't you have to, like, priests have to go to, like, a specific school, and you have to be a priest, and you, like, move up through the ranks, and it's like, like, a whole thing. How can I just, oh, you, you worked in the graveyard, you're a cleric now, that's fine. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good judge of character. Sure, I'll lead spurts, somewhere. I'll lead some spurts into my belly, if you know what I mean. I'm good at everything, that's why I was chosen, to represent his will. Ha <laughs> ha. Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in the trunk somewhere, you should check it. Come by again next week. In fact, I come here every purple poker chip. Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, uh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty. The unpleasant part is kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. What is this burial certificate? As soon as the body's been laid to rest, you can trade this burial certificate for money at the tavern. Cool. I'll just leave. You run out of repair kits, you can always craft new ones. Oh god, uh, to craft new items you'll need to unlock the relative technology. This costs tech points per step to open the technology tree. Red points represent your handcrafting skills and your ability to work with materials. Green points represent your knowledge about the nature of things and nature itself. Blue points represent your spiritual knowledge of the immaterial world. You'll get your first bleh at the study tab in the church basement. You'll earn points simply by doing anything. Also, you can get points by studying new items at the special table. All right, stone stockpile, you can gather rock. Okay. The concept of stone, the concept of wood. Alrighty. Oh, this looks like it gets pretty in depth. I don't know, the concept of something down there, uh, anatomy and alchemy, theology, oh god. Book writing, I know fuck all about book writing, I am illiterate. Many of you don't know, taught me how to read, smithing, building, cookery, meat fiesta. Okay, non-NPCs. Graveyard Keeper, Jerry, Bishop, Donkey, Royal Services. Okay. I guess. What do we got? Just take everything, I guess. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get rid of this with a fucking shovel. I'm not gonna, like, dig it up with, like, a... Well, I guess I'm doing it up. It's not like chopping it with like a... Man, this tree is fucking cool. I like this tree. Okay. I guess we're gonna grind a bit and uh, make this graveyard look lovely. I like the little 
like wherever you go you actually leave like little footprints behind I like that that's like a cool little detail that's neat except we're not gonna like keep that because we're gonna be skipping over all of this All right, that's all the, uh... Interesting, you get a ton of stuff for all that, but I don't think that's part of my graveyard. I like the little footprints that you leave behind by like walking around, that's neat. So that's all that stuff dealt with. Let's see if I can... Do something to this. Pick a resource. Wood? Pick a tool? No? Okay. Guess I don't know how the fuck that works. Uh, let's repair old graves. Fix the gravestone. Right? Yep, okay. Uh, fix that. We're walking through the night, boys! Bye, dude. Okay, well, I'm out of stuff, and I'm not entirely sure how to craft stuff, and also the weather's getting weird, and maybe this is not when you should be in a graveyard, so let's, I guess, go to the bar. Okay, so I can just craft all kinds of stuff. I got no energy anymore. What's this? Ooh, hello. Lord of the Great Inquisitor. This path is closed until... Okay. I don't know where that path leads, but okay. Hey there! How's it going? I'm just gonna traipse through these corn fields or wheat or whatever the fuck this is. Man, town is fucking far from the farm. Hey, 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 hey you, hey you, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, take me wherever you're going, bro. I'll just. Stick around. Um, the bar is kind of a shithole. Ooh, hello. You look interesting. Hey guys, the bar is a shithole. Oh, cat. Neat. Ooh. You wanna be loved by me. Shabba dooba wa wa. Okay. I'm gonna just. Oh, hello, Captain. Ah, bad luck. Not today. Okay. You. Can I talk to you? No. 
You look important. There's fire on the table. Uh, hello. You look important. I'm not in a good mood. Go away. Why is everyone so pissed off? Hi there. Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I'm Horadric. How can I help you? Came from the graveyard. I woke up today and things have been crazy since then. So I'd like to drink myself into a coma. Sorry. How could I not have recognized you? Good. This is good. Is it? Things are looking bright for a small village. Why are you planning on opening the church? Why was a great would a graveyard make things look bright? Also, there's a sword there. Can I just take that and like leave? I need to fix the graveyard. Sure, sure, sure. It's been a while since anyone took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? About this burial certificate. Yes, he's right. Is that of the village? I have to trade for money. Of course, only if I have any money. What do you mean? The village is going to our towns. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. I'd like to trade you some meat. Meat is delicacy in I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp. Uh, many years ago, there was an accident with an uh, inappropriate meat. <laughs> About inappropriate meat. <laughs> no, I don't get any trouble with... Does your meat have a stamp? No. I don't even know, I don't know where you can get unauthorized wheat, but wow, it looks really good. It's great. My hands are tied. Where can I get a stamp? Oh, you can send a fort to the royal court near through the mailbox. I'll tell you just because we're neighbors. Come closer. Are we? There's a guy called Snake. He, I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Mrs. Charm. She comes here every air eh, and she can help you find him. Thanks. I'll just leave. Isn't it today one of those days? Oh, Keeper, could you kindly take this letter to our local blacksmith? Sure. The southeast corner of the village. Yeah, today's that day. Get the fuck out of my way. Are you... Yep, you're Mrs. Charm. Hi there. What do you want? I'm a graveyard keeper and I want to ask you some questions. I see. You know how many times I hear that same mumbling? I have no time for you, little man. Come back when you have some more faith in yourself. How do I get faith in myself? Demonstrate that you're worth talking to. Hail, friend. Can I have a moment? I tried to give you a moment, so no, I'm leaving. Go away. Fuck off. What did Mrs. Charm tell you? Literally to go away. As always, she would never talk to anyone. I'm not just anyone, I'm the graveyard keeper. That makes me less than most people. Seem to be prior of the local church. Hmm, how primitive. I'm a well-known poet, uh, in certain small circles. My name is Wagner. One day I'll read my poem to her and then, but first I need to write it and I'm catastrophically out of paper and ink. So what the fuck is that in front of you? Maybe you can get me some. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You've unlocked me a new technology and got to the perked journalist. You notice little things about people. Put these things together and you have a story. Sometimes you can get stories from dialogue. Ask where to find ink and paper. They may have some of it in the church, or you can make it. I'm not used to label, but a skillful man such as yourself probably can. You know what would be great is if I could actually pronounce stuff. You can also get from the old astrologer. He's to go to the lighthouse every... Yep. Okay, ridiculous fight. Why? He's old and mad, whereas I've been studying for three, almost three years at the university. Can you believe he turned out to be an idiot? He told me that the earth is round. What nonsense. Uh, well, we all know it's as flat as a pan, but I kind of want to, I'm worried that if I choose this option, then I won't be able to talk to the guy. Uh, oh, God, you should definitely meet him. The mad astrologer and the graveyard keeper. Two wise men. See, that's... I want to make sure I meet him. Maybe he'll be able to help me back home. Ask about the lighthouse. It's on a cliff to the village. It hasn't been in active use for a while. Bless the dead horse for staying open. One day I'll write a poem about this place. Maybe even a couple of lines about you. Okay. Can I talk to... You. Stop moving! You better talk with my husband, he's in charge here. Okay. Goodbye! Let me out! Are you guys always here? Just standing outside? 
You're not following me, are you? Hi there, I'm looking for the blacksmith. I hear he's up here somewhere. Maybe? Who knows? I could be going the completely wrong way. Ooh! Eggs? Fresh eggs. You've unlocked omelette! Lovely! This person's got a lot of eggs. Um. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Nah. Uh, eggs. Where the fuck? Okay, blacksmith is opposite direction than I think it is. I was not paying attention. Hey, look at my little footprints. Hey, got a letter, because apparently I'm a graveyard keeper and a fucking mailman. What are you staring at? Looking around, I'm the keeper of the local graveyard, hence the smell. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name is Kresvold. Right, I have a letter for you from the barkeep. Of course, one minute away, but he can't be bothered to come himself. I know, right? Guess old habits never die. Thank you. Sorry for my nagging. It seems it's my new habit. That's fine. Slimes again. Heredric has asked me to get rid of them. I don't have the time for those pesky green bastards. Maybe you can help me. Are you paying me? Take this rusty sword and energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone on the grinder behind me. This is starting to feel a hell of a lot like Stardew Valley. Um, you can keep the whetstone. Maybe you'll need it to repair your shovel sometime. If you manage to kill them, bring me their remains and I'll spare you some materials. It's task. They should be right up on the outside of my house near the puddles. Okay, but um... I have no energy, so I'm just gonna ask him where I can find my lords. You know what? I like to work with metal myself. I can find some swamp soil. There's a huge swamp to the west. Okay. I used to collect the ore there before the bridge collapsed. Right, I need to go to bed. Oh god, I've run out of energy. Okay. I'm just leaving my sword on your thingy, I'll be back. Later. Come here. Sorry, I was just doing a million mile walk to get back home. Where have you been? In town. Or in the village. Town's apparently a very weird place. A different place, sorry. Uh, everyone's okay with me, just going out of nowhere. You're stealing my thoughts. Stealing. I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. Wheat. Exactly, I remember baking bread from it. And pies. 
this means if you're looking inside the engine, bring me a beer and I'll tell you a little bit about stuff. Look how you can get home. Questions about the small road. It was rhetorical. Well, technically, yes. Sorry, just my ass. Well, I'll just take the small road and see where I end up. Garden, property, and forfeiture for commercial use contract, Horodric. Interesting. So I can claim more properties. If I want to farm, if I want to make this like properly Stardew Valley. What's this? This is the garden, which I have nothing to do yet. To access building and face. I could have brought the whetstone home, the thing home. What's that sound? That seems like a problem. That seems like a problem. Looks like I can remove this and fortify the arch. Wood and metal, right? I don't have any energy to actually clean this place up. Get the fuck out of my way. Okay. Not much down here, bro. I need to go to bed. So refreshed. Um, not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Hooray, a keeper. I've been here for so long. I'm Yorick. So lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no. On the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. Rather unpleasant fellow buried here. Would really like to have a new neighbor instead. Sounds like something you can help us with. I'm not exactly sure why I'm here. Actually, Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick. And he's Jerry. Very funny. Ah, the half dead the half dead skull, that jealous bastard. He can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here. Especially that guy in the lower right grave corner. Could you just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? You're such a dummy. To dig up a corpse, you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the graveyard. Okay. Is that going to become like a... I did not sleep for long enough. Is that going to become like a thing? Like... Having to manage how happy your dead bodies are in the afterlife. And that's why there's like a spiritual thing. Yay, I'm fully slipped. I feel so refreshed. Good. I think we're going to end this video for now. You know, it's the middle of the night in a graveyard. The perfect time to get to work. But so far, it looks interesting. It looks like there's going to be a lot to it. And I'm excited to, like figure out what's going on and get a nice graveyard and apparently just get promoted through the church for doing manual labor because that's how that works.